as a measure to ensure equal union budget 2011 what was to be a green budget did not quite come across as one although the government has sent some clear signals about its intentions on the environment the budget has allocated 600 crore rupees for environmental management and cleaning of water bodies including rivers Although not many incentives were announced for green initiatives, the government still feels there is enough planned. The budget itself, in various places, does bring out the concern of the government in promoting clean energy and on addressing environment issues. There are a whole lot of things, I wouldn't go into them, but they are, they are to my mind, a fairly uh, uh, balanced uh, number of uh, uh, initiatives that have been announced. But the real speed breaker for the expected green budget came when Finance Minister Pranab Mukherjee left the customs duty on crude oil unchanged at 5% and that on petrol and diesel untouched at 7.5%. Excise duty on diesel has also been left unchanged at 4.60 rupees per litre. And the big issue of fuel guzzling big cars has come to the forefront again. Diesel which is subsidised for the poor has now become a luxury spend for the rich. Cars use 15% of the total diesel consumed in the country when compared with 12% by agriculture and buses, 10% by industry and 6% by the railways. Despite repeated recommendations from different expert bodies, including the very recent Kirit Tariq Committee report's recommendation, that you may have to neutralize this incentive that is coming from the cheaper diesel prices, I mean, nothing has been said and somehow government just doesn't have the guts to deal with it. And that message has come out very clearly this time. Diesel cars constitute 36% of new cars sold in the country. While 85% of petrol cars sold have less than 1200cc engines, 64% of diesel cars are under 1500cc. Cheap diesel will encourage bigger cars, more driving and more fuel guzzling. The ongoing India assessment of International Council on Clean Transportation shows that these trends can lead to a cumulative loss of 6.5 million ton of oil equivalent of million ton of energy between 2010 and 2020. Clean diesel is not available in the country. If taxes don't reflect the actual fuel use in cars, there is a threat to energy security. And it is also beyond doubt that health risks associated with conventional diesel emissions are very serious. Nazia Iqbal, Bloomberg UTV, New Delhi.